silky smooth. It's not a very nice day outside. It's not a very nice day inside. <laughs> right, I need to tidy up. And I think it's safe to say that we're not going out today. Definitely not. Spotless. What you should know about this channel is that I don't or I very rarely plan videos. I plan trips, I plan photo shoots and all that stuff, but I don't plan my videos. And I was hoping to go out this week and shoot some images, but have you, as you've seen, it's absolutely ugh, horrible, horrible outside. It's like horrible grey wet period after the snow and before the summer sunshine or the spring sunshine. Yeah, I'm not going out. So. Um, in order to plan a video and, you know, I don't know, what am I going to talk about? I don't know. So what I like to do is look through the comments of my videos. And one theme that I've noticed, you know, repeatedly on lots of videos is all about my filming, my B-roll. Um, and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Now, I primarily work alone. Um, very, very rarely do I have any help. So I have to think of creative ways to get good B-roll. When I say good B-roll, I mean anything that's not just a static camera on a tripod. And, you know, I want the videos to feel cinematic. I want them to feel like you're there. And there's so much to that. And that's what I want to very quickly try and get across in this video. Now, there's lots of gear in front of me, okay? Now, what you need to understand and what I'm probably not, I'm not going to repeat this after this because I'm sick of saying this. I am legally obliged to tell you if any company are paying me to feature their products in a video. Okay, if I'm being paid by the letter of the law, I have to tell you. So if I don't tell you, assume that all of this has been purchased by myself and I'm not being paid by any of the companies, all right? There, I've said it, we're done. I'm not saying it again. But I would like to say that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. That's right. So if you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. There you go, there is my legal obligation fulfilled. But luckily for you guys, Squarespace, do not make B-roll equipment. Right, let's crack on with this, shall we? Because this video, I feel, is dragging already. Um, right, the most important thing um, in video production for me and the thing that I've tried to step up the most in recent months is audio. So my videos, they're all about the ambient atmosphere bringing you guys with me. So I want to talk about this. This is a Rode <laughs> microphone. Um, it's an X, it's a Rode X Video Mic X. That's, I think that's what it's called, a Video Mic X. Now this is a very, very expensive microphone. This is about 500 pounds. Um, and actually this one is playing up. I think the left microphone some, seems to just cut out for no reason, um, no idea why. Could be a faulty cable, I don't know. Anyway, I digress. So this is a, an excellent microphone for picking up ambient sounds of the forest or the, the beach or the waves. And I use this, you know, it's not, I don't use this a lot because it's heavy, it's cumbersome, you have to have everything on manual so it takes more time. Um, but I use this when I really want to pick up the ambient sound. Uh, this, is, this is great. I sometimes plug it directly into my camera and sometimes I'll just plug it into my audio recorder and go around recording sounds, which I will then overlay on top of my videos to give that feel, you know, that cinematic audio visual experience. <laughs> I don't know. Now, the next obvious thing is my camera. This is my 200D or my SL2 for you guys over in America. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, fine camera, whatever. But what's on top of this is a Rode Video Micro. Um, this is really good. This is about 40 or 50 pounds off Amazon. And, you know, I've had this in wind, rain, snow. Oh dear me. So I came for a walk and I was hoping that the rain would let up, but it hasn't. What can possibly go wrong? 
you know, walking around with it and it picks up really nice audio and for the price point, it's absolutely spot on. And again, it, this does a very good job. It's directional, but it does a very good job of picking up those ambient sounds like camera going on tripod, tripod opening, footsteps, that kind of thing. Um, so this is a brilliant all round mic and it's a 10th of the price of this. So it's a no brainer. This is, I've still used my G5X. This is just a, I you know, don't really need to talk about this. I don't even know why I've, I don't even know why I've included this. Let's get rid of this. The main thing that you'll have noticed in my video is some sliding shots. This is made by a company called Edelkrone. No doubt you've seen their adverts on YouTube because they seem to pop up before every single video. They're as bad as Ty Lopez. But this is brilliant. Very expensive, that eye-wateringly expensive for what it is. So I think the price of this was, oh God, I don't know. I think it was about 600 pounds or 700 euros, something like that. Very expensive and it's only 12 inches long. But let me tell you, that 12 inches makes all of the difference. Now this works via an app and the app's really cool because it's more than just sliding from A to B. You can control the speed of it, you can put a delay on it, you can also control how much it slows down when it gets to the end of the run there. So let me show you here. See that? It's like the ease in, ease out feature when you're doing your transitions or whatever in Adobe Premiere. And you can also add a delay on it. So I could add a 10 or a 15 second delay on this so I can set it and then walk away. As well as that, I can have it just looping back and forward so that, you know, if I'm unsure how much of a delay I need, if I'm walking quite far away from the camera, I can just walk backwards and forwards and eventually I'll get the shot. Um, you can control it manually with your thumb like that. I was really worried that this was going to be too small, um, but after using it, it's not. It's, it's perfect. It really is perfect. This tiny little device, tiny but very expensive, this just adds so much more to my videos. So this is another piece of kit I use. This is my GoPro Steadicam. It's made by a company called uh, Zion or Zion. They actually contacted me asking if I wanted one in exchange for a review and I said, no thanks don't do reviews but their emails sparked my interest so I went and looked at them and then annoyingly I bought one. Stuff like this is really good for showing the environment um, so really getting those establishing shots so if I'm doing a piece of camera in a wooded area for example um, having something like this when you where you can walk through the trees revealing the scene is a very powerful tool especially when it's combined with this and even better when it's combined with this. This is just my well, you know what this is. This is a Mavic Pro. I can't be bothered getting out of the bag. Because I work alone, I can get the drone to follow me. I can show fantastic revealing shots of the environment and the landscape around me. So the drone is amazing. So you may notice I've got some boxes here. Um, now, I think I know what's in these. And we are going to take a look right now. And again, it's more equipment that is not sponsored, <laughs> not sponsored, more equipment um, that is going to add to the B-roll and to the, to the making, the video production, the cinematic feel of my videos. So let's start with this one and then maybe you can guess what the next one is. This is acoustic foam. So now can you guess what's in the other box? I'll bet you can. I've just realized this is my first unboxing video. Hey, that's quite cool. Oh yeah. This is a Rode microphone. <laughs> I've been doing more and more voiceovers on my videos and um, the quality isn't always the best it can be with voiceover and part of the reason that I like to do voiceover on my videos is because sometimes when you're filming in the field um, trying to create a photography video the photography 
is, well, photography is always more important. So sometimes I spend more time on the photography than the video. I get back home to the edit suite and the video doesn't quite make sense or I wanna get something across that I couldn't get across whilst out in the field. So you use voiceover to fill the gaps and to tell the story. And this is a special actual voiceover microphone, NT-USB. So this is a Rode NT-USB mic. Is it? For some reason, there's a Fujifilm Instax picture of the Watchman in Zion. Okay, so I should say this is a this is a gift from a Mr. Mr. Ben Horn. Um, the guy's got more mics than he knows what to do with, so he's very kindly donated this Rode um, microphone. <laughs> I should learn the name of it. This uh, NT USB microphone. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so this is the Rode NTB USB mic. I've never used this microphone before. I've never used GarageBand before, but I've plugged it in. I've hit record. I'm doing my best voice over voice. And yeah, hopefully this is working and hopefully the quality is just silky smooth. Expect a lot of voiceover in my upcoming videos. <laughs> um, but there is there is a, an important point I want to get across here. Okay, so I've showed you all of my gear and how I use it and why I use it. And it's all very expensive and it's all very nice. But what's so important, and honestly, I, this is not, you know, this isn't bullshit. This is true. You don't need any of this. Um, when I started, I started with a mobile phone. Well, it's a lot colder than I thought. It's a lot windier than I expected. So I've had to make a few changes. And then I upgraded to a GoPro Hero 3. I didn't have a gimbal, I didn't have a microphone. And for about a year, I just used a GoPro. And then, and then I upgraded to something like this, and then I upgraded to something like this, and then I got a drone, and then I got a slider. All of this has taken years to accumulate, and I'm fortunate enough to do this full time so I can justify you know, upping the production value of my videos, but you don't need to. Obviously, you wanna shoot them as well as you possibly can, but what's so much more important is the content, telling a story. If I don't have a story to tell, and I just shot a 10 minute video with no real premise to it, no, you know, not just a bunch of B-roll that doesn't fit, and a bunch of music that's too dancey, then it, it would be rubbish because there's no content, there's no, you know. Um, it's, it's not about gear. I've seen channels that have the best video production value I've ever seen, but their content is awful and they don't get any followers. Um, and I've seen channels that just use a phone and they're growing like crazy. So, you know, I wanted to show you this because I needed some content for today and people have been asking what I've been using. Um, but the truth is, I'm, I'm very, very lucky to have all of this. And the truth is, I, I keep saying that, the truth is, the truth is, I don't need any of this. I don't need it. Okay, this is, this is a luxury. All I, really, all I really need is this, I suppose, a little camera um, and probably a microphone. Uh, you know, what you need is the get up and go, to get up, get outside and tell a story. So yeah, that would be my message. Um, uh, yeah, thank you for watching everything. I'll link to all this stuff in the description below. Some of it will be affiliate links, or some of them will be affiliate links. I'm legally obliged to let you know this. Um, it is in the video description. And I'd like to once again thank Squarespace for their continued support of this channel. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and start a free trial. If you like the free trial, then use the off code Heaton for 10% off and you know build yourself a nice photography website or whatever it is you do. So, thank you for putting up with my non-scripted last minute gear video. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I've got a road trip next week and then the photography show, so lots of good content coming up and lots of, <laughs> lots of nice voiceovers coming up too. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, until next time, bye for now.